everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right guys so today i put a few videos together nothing to do with frauditors um i'm pretty much handy with my hands and i do a little bit of mechanical work and um a little bit of everything let's say okay now i came across this individual here that i got three videos that i put together here this guy is into restoring items okay now how many of us and and i used to be this way would have an item at home and let's say for some reason it broke or uh we just didn't have a need for it anymore and we toss it away well, I used to be like that, guys, okay? If something broke, i just throw it in the garbage. Hey, tough luck, I'll go buy another one or whatsoever. But now, after watching this individual here, and there was another individual that I haven't seen his show. I don't think, I don't know if he's still, if the show is still online, period. Um, he used to call himself American Restoration. If you guys remember that show, he's out there in Las Vegas or whatsoever. I was so impressed with that guy you could bring him something old and broken down and look like crap and within a certain amount of time he'd have it looking brand spanking new restored forget about it a beautiful work so again i say you know i've been very handy with my hands for a while and now after watching this guy that you're going to watch his videos here i started trying to do something similar you know restoring items that um that are broken and i have no need for it anymore and instead of throwing it away i want to restore it and if i can make a couple of dollars selling it online so be it but um, I wanted to share these videos with you. And the first one is of him restoring vintage door locks. Now this one is very interesting to me as well because I clear out homes and businesses for a living. Um, I pretty much when um, a home or real estate company comes across a home that has a lot of crap in it, my job is to go in there and clear everything out so this way they could either flip it or re-rented, um, rented out, let's say. Um, anyway, I come across over a period of time, I've come across, I got like maybe a dozen, a little more than a dozen of these vintage door locks or whatsoever. So when I saw this particular video, I said, oh, I'm going to give this a shot, make these door locks look like new, okay? And um, see if I can get rid of them for a decent price or whatsoever, okay? So, like I said, I wanted to share it with you guys. If you find it interesting, fine, you know, watch it, enjoy it. And hopefully we all have this same um, little quirk or whatever you want to call it where we start doing our own handy um handiwork stuff and if you do handiwork stuff make a little video of it send it to me email it to me or whatsoever and um i'll showcase it on the channel let everybody watch it and um yo know, it, it's something that I, I i don't know i i caught a liking to it i want to start doing it and I wanted to see if there might be other people out there with the same kind of quirks that I got. You know what I mean? Well, let's check out the first video. Like I said, it's restoring vintage door locks and see how it goes, guys. See if you like it. Let's check it out.
Alright, so let me say that I know most of us have tools such as a grinding, uh, a bench grinder. Um, right now, I, I buy a lot of stuff through um, Harbor Freight, which I've had people make fun of me. Oh, Harbor Freight tools, they're, they're garbage, they're crap, and I, I've had good luck with them. I'm very happy with their tools. And like I said, I'm about to get me that sandblasting cabinet. It's only $169, and um, 
I got a big air compressor in my basement and um, hook it up and you know it'll come out handy to sandblast stuff right down to the bare metal and um, that's like half the job right there you know once you get everything uh, that particular item that you're working with once you get it down to the bare metal my god it, it, it's the job is halfway done now it's making it look pretty you know what I mean cosmetically let's say um, but I know most of us have bench grinders and if you don't I mean I honestly it wouldn't hurt to uh, invest a few dollars and to get yourself these little minor tools uh, they, they, they could come out handy for so much other stuff trust me when you are uh, when I say that, there's so much stuff that you can do with a branch grinder, um, and it's cheap. It's only like 20 bucks or whatever. I mean, depending. I mean, because I know a lot of people want might want to go top dollar and get a Makita or, or you know, Craftsman's. I got Craftsman tools as well. Um, I'm just saying, you know, it, it all depends on your pocket, you know, how you feel. Um, Again, I buy a lot of stuff like bench grinders and stuff like that through Harbor Freight, and it's affordable, my opinion. But again, that's why I just wanted to throw that out there. I know a lot of us may not have these little tools laying around, and it wouldn't hurt to invest a little bit of money and buying a few of these little tools, such as a bench grinder and so on, guys. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. You know, it, 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 it could be it could be used for so many other things. Let's say.
I am truly impressed with that man. I am truly impressed. He is really good, guys. And like I said, with the proper tools, you could probably do just about anything, guys, okay? And like I said, right now, I'm working on getting that um, sandblasting cabinet. That, in my opinion, would um, make a lot of what I want to do, would, would like make the job, half the job get done right there, right off the bat. Now, um, again, I would say patience also. A lot of people don't really have patience when you're doing these things here. Uh, the littlest things, they're so minute that people just get, um, I don't know, uh, they get bent out of shape. They just don't have the patience, let's say. And uh, I think, my opinion, patience means a lot. And um, you, you just, I, I honestly, I, I'm going to do one. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to make a video in the next couple of days. I'm going to take one of those vintage locks that I got. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. And then I'm going to put my little thing to it and see, you know, how far I get. And um, I'll show you guys. And I, you know, want to get uh, your take on it, on what you think. And, um... And I, the same goes for you guys. You guys got a, a little project that you want to do? Make a video. I'll throw it on the channel. And um, let's share our work together, guys. You know, um, uh, sometimes dealing with these frauditors every day, please, I've changed dramatically because of these guys here. Um, so we need a little break, a little something different, guys, let's say. All right, so let's check out the next video, okay? That was the vintage door locks. Let's check out what he does to a uh, monkey wrench, a pipe wrench, let's say, um, that's been laying around. I'm sure uh, all of us, I've had tools that uh, they've been... Um, laying around in my basement and I guess moisture got to it and the next thing you know it's built up rust over the years or whatsoever and again I say I've thrown them away I've thrown them away now mm -mm, no more now I'm gonna start getting my stuff back to you know I'm gonna start doing the work to put it back to the way it was when I first got them Let's check out this next video here with the pipe wrench, guys. See how you like this one.
All right, well, there you go, guys. I mean, look at the beautiful job he did with that pipe wrench. Just to know that I threw so many tools away because of the rust buildup, oh my God, I probably threw thousands of dollars away over the years. And um, now, I'm telling you, from watching, from watching this guy here, I don't know, it just gave me a craving. And hopefully I continue that craving. And I really, honestly, I, I want to, I hope that I get a few of you guys interested in um, doing this and where we could, um, we could send each other videos and um, post it on the channel here, guys. It may sound corny to some of you guys, but hey, I think it's being productive, guys. Anytime you work with your hands, it's being productive in, in my book, okay? Hey, one more video, guys. One last video here. Um, really nice. I like it. I enjoyed it. And again, I say I want to share it with you guys. Let's check out this video.
All right, well, there you go, guys. I mean, this guy is truly fantastic. You saw what that bread slicer looked like. It looked like garbage. This guy, in a matter of I don't know how long it took him, but Jesus, it looks spanking brand new. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And um, I really, honestly, I'm going to make it um, next week, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drop them, pick a few videos, and... um. I'm hoping that we get a craving for all of us. So I'm not. I know some of you guys aren't going to be really interested in this, but I'm looking forward to having a handful or two where we're going to uh, do our own little projects. And like I said, let's throw it out there and um, show our work or whatsoever. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check him out on Facebook. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, but I found him on Facebook and. Um, Check them out. I think it's T-Y-S. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ty C tube or whatever. Check them out on Facebook. Follow him. Um, I'm telling you, the guy is awesome. You can learn a lot from this here. All right, guys. See you when I see you.